Good morning, dear friends. Talking to you from uh, Gralia this morning, which is just behind San Martino de Porto. No, it's not another plug for living in Portugal. I've got a question for you. Although I do have to say Portugal's a great place to live. And um, yeah, check out the Good Morning Portugal show. Blah, etc. But look at this, I'm just standing here. And you know I like to record the occasional meditation video. And I am uh, deeply, not concerned, but fascinated by us human beings and uh, how, we, how we're happy, how we achieve our greatest potential. And it just occurred to me that the first time I saw this view, I um, was very taken by it. And as I come back to this view, I, I realised I stood here uh, looking at my phone whilst there's this view next to me. And that's what we do, isn't it, as human beings? We have this incredible sense of awe. And then something happens. When we think we know something, we're not as awestruck as we first were when we first encountered it. And we have this mechanism. And I, I suppose, it, like with most things in this existence, it works, you know, for better or for worse. It's good and it's bad. And the good thing about being able to manage experiences and put them into boxes is that we can be safe. Aren't we? So if every time we saw a view like this, or if every time we were present to the magnificence and miracle of being alive, we might be in a constant state of um, exhaustion, for one thing, or overwhelmment. So my question to you is, within that context of how it is that you can see this view for the first time, and you might be seeing it for the first time, and thinking, oh my goodness, that's amazing. You know, as I stand here and look at this view, I can... Do, do some sort of process to reacquaint myself with the awesomeness of this. I have to unknow what I think I know, that I've got to know, that I think I know about this place. When I see, it, when I see this or anything for the first time, I, am, I can be awestruck. But then the mind, the human mind comes in, like it does with everything, and says, now, I know this view now, I know that situation, I know these people, I know that country, I know this, I know that, and that protects me from having to keep wondering about it and, and being in a constant state of awesome overwhelmment. So how can we get a balance? How can we get a balance of staying open to the miracle of being alive without being constantly overwhelmed by how awesome life is? There must be a way, right? There must be a way to live in everyday miraculousness such that the gland and filter of okay I've got this figured now okay I've got this figured now okay I've got this figured now I know this I know that blah -de blah and that makes life a dull mundane possible hell doesn't it I know everything I've forget it figured everything out there are no shocks there are no surprises how do we open that gland up to a sufficient level so that we can stay open to for example the awesomeness of this view I mean just take a look at it if you begin to ponder and connect with this view and see how much sea there is, how vast this is, it is overwhelming. This is extraordinary. And that's why it's such a wonderful view. That's why we love big views, isn't it? We come and see the big views. And then we see the view for a second time. You, build, you, you know, a human being might build a house with this view and then take it for granted. It's very easy for humans with the way we're made and the way we think to take things for granted and not to be consistently aware of magic and this is what we tend to do isn't it you could argue that that is the garden of eden that we turn into a, con a paved paradise and put up a parking lot you know that's what we've done isn't it that's what we've done we have been given this amazing gift of this incredible beautiful existence which can be so ecstatically wonderful at times and clearly a hellhole at other times uh, with the with the way we behave and treat each other and so on both things existing but where's the balance where's the balance in this is this the fall is this the sin that we can't be present at will at at our choosing to the magnificence majesty and miracle of being alive in any given moment that we are overwhelmed actually not by miracle majesty and amazingness we're overwhelmed generally speaking by our problems our depressions our anxieties and that is epidemic in this world we live in you know never mind the pandemic of a virus you could argue couldn't you that the uh, epidemic of anxiety has been with us for several decades now such that we're not present to this 
which if we pause for a moment and open our eyes and our hearts and let really let this sink in I can stop looking at my bloody phone for a minute and viewing everything through my the minimizing gland of my mind and open my heart up to this which I can feel is happening right now and you might be able to feel that where you are right now looking at this I hope that is the case for you and I hope is that a whale out there? I could see something in the water. Um, I see, see, if a whale suddenly arose out of the water, I would be taken by surprise and I would see miracle and majesty. In this other place, which I see quite regularly, so I can make it mundane. How do we deal with that, folks? How do we, how do we overcome our ability to make everything mundane and turn everything into a bloody problem, which is the, which is the nature of the human mind, isn't it? How, do, how does the heart come back into this? How do we open up to the miracle, to the majesty, to the magic of life and get that balance right? And I know we do it for our own safety and protection. But whilst it's just like my virus protector on my computer, whilst I've installed it out of fear, it's now choking up some of the performance of my computer. Some of the good performance is being choked up by the very thing I've installed for my safety and security. Isn't that an amazing metaphor? Isn't that what characterizes these times in the mainstream? Don't be mainstream. <laughs> be magical. Be mysterious. Be mischievous. Be mystical. Be magnificent, friends. And I'll just shut up for a minute so you can see this view. <laughs>